I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the ratio, root, and comparison tests. In problem number 17, we'd like to use the ratio test to determine whether the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of k factorial squared divided by 2k factorial converges or diverges. All right, uh, this problem tells us to use the ratio test, but just in general, if you see factorials inside of a series, that should just scream at you, please use the ratio test on me. So anytime that I see factorials involved in a series and I wanna know if that series converges or diverges, typically the ratio test is the first place I go. All right, so let's use the ratio test on this series to see if it converges or diverges. I need to set up a limit. I'm going to take the limit as k goes to infinity of this uh, sequence with k plus 1 plugged in for k. So the k plus first term of this sequence. So if I replace these k's by k plus 1's, I get k plus 1 factorial quantity squared divided by 2 times k plus 1 all of that factorial all right um, divided by so all of that is divided by the kth term of this um, sequence and the kth term is k factorial quantity squared divided by 2k factorial. Okay, so this is my starting limit and let's rewrite it. I have a fraction divided by a fraction. Let's flip the bottom fraction and multiply and write this a little cleaner. So this is the limit as k goes to infinity of k plus 1 factorial squared uh, divided by 2 times k plus 1 whole quantity factorial times uh, 2k factorial divided by k factorial squared. All right, so now some things are going to start canceling, and we need to be a little bit careful when we do so. Uh, first of all, I have a k plus 1 factorial times a k plus 1 factorial. And I'm going to rewrite this stuff just a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Um, so I have the limit as k goes to infinity of k plus 1 factorial, there's another way to write that. I could write k plus 1 factorial as it's k plus 1 times k factorial. That's the exact same thing as k plus 1 factorial. All right, I just rewrote it in a different way. Uh, and I have that thing squared. Uh, and on the bottom, I have 2 times k plus 1 factorial. But 2 times k plus 1, if I distribute that 2, I get 2k plus 2. So 2k plus 2 factorial is the same thing as 2k plus 2 times the one below it, which is 2k plus 1, times the one below it, which is 2k, and now on that one I'll say factorial. So I've written 2 times k plus 1 factorial as 2k plus 2 times 2k plus 1 times 2k factorial. All right, the other ones I'll just leave as is. So I have a 2k factorial up on top and on the bottom I have a k factorial quantity squared. Now we can kind of see what's going to happen. Some things are going to cancel. On the bottom I have a 2k factorial. On the top I have a 2k factorial. So the 2k factorials 
cancel. On the bottom I have a k factorial squared. On the top, if I square this guy and I square this guy, I have a k factorial squared. So the k factorial squared and the k factorial squared cancel. And what am I left with? I'm left with the limit as k goes to infinity of, on top I have k plus 1 squared, and on bottom I have 2k plus 2 times 2k plus 1. All right, it, which is a rational function. And I know how to take the limit as k goes to infinity of a rational function. I take the coefficients that are out in front of the highest powers of k on top and bottom. What's the highest power of k up here? This is k squared. On the bottom, I also have a k squared. So what are the coefficients in front of the k squared? Well, on top, I'm just going to get 1k squared. And on the bottom, I'm going to get 4k squared. So the limit here, without going through and multiplying everything out, I could if I wanted to, if it makes it more clear. But I have a 1 up here and a 4 in front of the k squared on the bottom. So this limit is just 1 over 4. So I use the ratio test, and I come out with a value of 1 fourth. 1 fourth is less than 1. All right? And what the ratio test tells me is if I get a value that's less than 1, then the original series, right here, this guy must converge. And so I can write my final answer that so the sum k going from 1 to infinity of k factorial quantity squared over 2k factorial converges by the ratio test. And we are done.